when you do the thing, that thing, and the, the hair on your legs goes down, the blonde hair in the legs in the pool. It's a big effing deal. It's a big effing deal, that thing. When you just drive it. Or when you're driving, but you're not driving, you're, it feels like you're floating. You're just, it, you're just, you're just floating, man. You just float. Hey guys, we're at the graveyard of the Atlantic Museum and it is hot outside and we're not gonna leave the pups in the camper even though we know we can make it work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this in shifts. So Lindsay's gonna run in, take a look. She really loves this stuff and then I'll run in afterwards as well. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited to see what they have on display here. You have your mask, that's very good. Yeah. It's yeah. always good to have masks yeah. in North Carolina. All right, <laughs> go. See you later. Bye. Bye, Bye Felicia. Bye. They might need So? Mm -hmm. It's a cool little museum. It's small. There's um, a room when you first come in that has like a top of a lighthouse, which is kind of cool. And then you go back through some double doors, and that's the main area. And there's no videography or photography allowed whatsoever. So, can't show you that. <laughs> so, they got but, secrets. They're keeping secrets. I wouldn't say that, but I mean, there's cool stuff. They've got uh, artifacts from Queen Anne, Queen Anne's Revenge. It was a, a boat that Blackbeard stole or whatever. Yeah. And then it got wrecked offshore here. And uh, they have a map of like every shipwreck that's ever happened. Tiny little map, but it's like crazy to see the amount of boats that have wrecked. So you can spend 20, 30 minutes here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We ready to get on so, to the next place? Yeah. I'm gonna skip it then. <laughs> I mean, we can't, uh, unless you wanna see any of that. We need the doggies. Okay, we're skipping it. We got a lot more ground to cover, so. There's no video. We're gonna go cover it. This is a plan stop for us. It may not be a plan stop for you, but I gotta go take a dump. Black tank dump. I gotta go take a black tank dump. So there's a dump station. This is at the campground where we were last night, so uh, it's free to use. You don't even have to stay at the campground, it's just on the way in. So we're going to go dump and uh, fill up on water and that'll give us another almost week or so on the road again. You don't have to watch me dump. TMI. Uh, that was messy. I'm like, I'm covered in it. Ugh. You need the hand sanitizer? I'm covered in water, babe. Covered in water. There's a leak. They put the hose up to this this spigot up top, and and there's a leak. And so I was taking a shower, even though there's a sign that says no bathing. I basically took a bath. So we're good. We're all dumped out. I feel a whole lot lighter, except we just put more water in our tank, so I feel heavier again too. And uh, we're gonna hit the road and get on with this, right? Yep. Let's get out of here. Kitty hawk. Let's make like a tree and fall down. Okay. So after we made our dump, we came back to the lighthouse and uh, it's the next stop as you head north. And there's a lot more people here, but it's still nice to see. Yeah, crazy that at sunset on a Sunday, there was hardly anyone here. Like parking lot empty and maybe two sets of people walking around. But Monday at 12, when it's like insanely hot, and the sunlight's not great. There's like a ton of people here. Avon Pier is apparently America's pier and it's a short, um, well, short stop from Hatter's Lighthouse and it's a quick pull off on the side of the road. We're gonna go check it out. We're currently going over the Oregon Inlet, which is very famous in Cape Hatteras. So I'm gonna show you.
So we just blew past Bodie Lighthouse because we were there yesterday, as you know. Um, but that would be the next stop north. And now we are at Jockey's Ridge State Park. It is free. There's the largest natural sand dune on the East Coast here. And we're going to go check it out. And, uh, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's just we north. Like it's in Nags Head, but it's on the northern end of Nags Head. So I'm going to start driving again. We're on our way to the sand dunes. Going to the overlook first, just to scope it out. We're gonna go take the dogs out there. It's a pretty big dune, if I do say so myself. We're gonna try to walk out there. It's hot. And there's a lot of sand between here and there. So we're gonna see if there's another way to get around and a little closer. Cause we're, I think we're, are we lazy? Yes. I'm pretty lazy right now. <laughs> it has been a hot day. It's supposed to temperature's gonna drop tomorrow, but right now it's, it's up over 80. So um, we'll see what's up. Well, we're back in our favorite place. Yeah. And we're feeling lazy. And Lindsay reminded me, we don't really like walking in the sand. I don't know. This is deep and it like hurts my ankles. You there know? was that sand dune in Idaho, which when we say this, unless you've been there, you're gonna think we're crazy, but it's like that North America's awesome. largest sand dune. And it was, it was awesome. But you could park like right underneath. But you could park like right underneath the sand dune at that place. Like yeah. it was awesome. It's just, you park right underneath it and you walk up. So we're, mm -hmm. there is a place where you can park and you can walk across the road and go up there. So we're gonna drive by real quick and kind of check it out. But I don't think we're gonna get our feet dirty. Yeah. I'm not feeling like getting my feet dirty. I'd rather go to Kitty Hawk and go. We want to go see the Wright Brothers. Yeah, go see the Wright, Wright Brothers National Monument. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go do that before it closes. It's almost 4 o'clock right now. As you can tell, it's been a busy day. We have not gone as fast or as slow as we thought. We've just kind of gone, and there's a lot of things we could have stopped and spent days doing, like oh, fishing, yeah, paddle boarding. This place is amazing. It really is. I would love to come back and vacation here. So we're showing you this rush tour, and we're kind of taking a tour of ourselves so we know we can come back here when we want to come back, maybe even in a month or two. Things cool down a little bit. Mm -hmm. The mountains get boring. Oh, the mountains. All mountains right. are never boring. We're going to go check out the shortcut in case you want to go climb up the sand dunes and save all the time. And then we're going to go to the Wright Brothers Memorial, National Memorial. This is where everybody is crossing to get to the sand dunes. This is the National Park Pass, the annual pass. Don't leave home without it. We did. That was a mistake. We got it now at the Wright Brothers National Monument, which is great. This gets you into all national parks across the United States for free. Cost us 80 bucks here. There are senior discounts and uh, military discounts as well. So anyway, we're here at the memorial. We're gonna go hike up to the top. It is a huge memorial. Um, and so pretty cool to look at that. And then looks like there's a replica of the plane and some, some people like statue people and some real people too. But we're not here to look at the real people. We'll look at the statue people and the plane and the monument. Let's go do it. That's like a plane. Big hat deal. Monument, right? Yeah. Here we are. You want to go the fast way? Fast Let's go the fast like way. That. Instead of walking all the way over there, we'll just go to the top of the monument. Yeah? yeah? Let's do it. Okay. We're here. Wow, that was quick. Nope. I don't trust you. There's the monument. Oh. There's there. somebody flying a drone that shouldn't fly a drone. I'll report them to the National Park Service. Oh, 
Is that the or is that the Wright brothers right there? Yeah. That's so cool that when you come here they actually they fly their plane. This is a good view. <laughs> These are the guys I was talking about. One of them scratching my back. The other one touching my butt. This guy's getting jiggy. Lindsay, yeah. you wanna get jiggy with him? What was that? I'm not a good dancer. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You said get jiggy with him. He's still got a smile on his face, so yeah. he must have done the trick. <laughs> There's more to see and do here at the, um, what's it called? The Wright National Monument. But uh, other than dance with the statues, there's a whole um, museum area, big wide open field. But we are taking off because the park closes at five and it's right about five, right about now. We're debating whether we're gonna try to get one last lighthouse in before we go to our favorite place to camp, which is? Harvest House! Yay, we've got reservations at a Harvest House. It's about an hour away, so we're kind of pushing it on the daylight and we'll figure that out. Um, game time decision, I guess, in the next couple of minutes. We'll keep you posted, of course, for now. Around. Last update for a while. We are leaving the Outer Banks. It was a good Bye. one and a half day. We're, we're, we're abandoning our hopes of getting up to the lighthouse in Corolla. It's at the very northern part. It's about 45 minutes from where we are and then an hour to the Harvest Host place. Harvest Host is already awesome, letting us come in late after hours, mm -hmm. find our own spot. But we don't want to do that in the dark. And so we feel like I feel like one day in the Outer Banks has defeated me. We did not do it all, and we started at the butt crack of dawn yeah, today. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot there to do. There is a lot, and we did just a lot of stopping, not even getting out and exploring and doing, and could have spent a lot more time sitting on the beach with a fishing sure. pole in our hands. We could have gone kayaking. Paddle boarding. Paddle yeah. boarding is beautiful, beautiful time here. I'm sure it's not always like that in the Outer Banks. Actually, I know it's not always like that, so we probably should have taken advantage of it, but... We booked a couple nights in Assateague, and that was hard to come by, so why didn't you dance like that wild, with the Wild, wild horses. I thought guy, I did. With the guy. You danced, I did. You did dance like that with the guy. The statue guy. That guy. The guy. Yeah. So we are going to leave the Walmart parking lot because it says you can't camp here absolutely under no conditions. Yeah, like huge sign. Biggest sign I've ever seen. So, note on camping at Walmart when there's a huge sign read it follow it but we weren't planning on camping here anyway had to stop and try to find mountain bike tire because my tire broke so hopefully i can get it fixed before riding around at assateague if not lindsay will ride her bike around at assateague and i will not i will stay in the camper and work sure. so it goes so it goes and so too will we go back on the road let's go 45 minutes let's go We have arrived. This place looks really cool. It's a big wide open space. Mm -hmm. Lots of old tractors. It is a, what is it? It's a farmer's market. Farmer's market. And we were parking over here by the, by the big sand hill. You could probably back up over here. Be in the grass and the dogs can run around. <laughs> That's really cool. Little area for the kids to play. Great for families. We're gonna park and check it out, and we'll tell you a little bit more about this particular Harvest Host location. But pretty awesome. It's off the highway about I don't know about a quarter mile, so it should be quieter than some of the other ones that we passed because we passed what two of them? Yeah. A restaurant and a brewery. And this one was just another, I don't know, five or six miles further. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get situated. And if there's anything else to share with you, we will. Otherwise, bye, Felicia. If you are Felicia, by the way. <laughs> hi. 
Bye. <laughs>Hi Felicia, back again just to say we are calling it a night, we love this place, the dogs love this place, they're having a blast and uh, we just, yeah, we're, we're happy we're here. So if you enjoyed this video, we appreciate if you would like the video, leave a positive short. comment. I'm too short, I gotta she, like stand where you're He's too short. Again. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you think about it and you have some money that you'd like to spend on a worthy cause, you can support us on Patreon and you get cool stuff in exchange for your support. You support us as artists trying to go out and make these really awesome videos. So if you get value out of this or out of her dancing, consider supporting us. We appreciate it. Again, please subscribe, like, and send a happy comment. We will see you manana, which is tomorrow. In North Carolina. Minana is still tomorrow. Kakalaki? Kak Sad North Kakalaki.